David Suzuki once said that the way we see the world shapes the way we treat it. If a mountain is a deity, not a pile of ore. If a river is one of the veins of the land, not potential irrigation water. If a forest is a sacred grove, not timber. If other species are biological kin, not resources. Or if the planet is our mother, not an opportunity, then we will treat each other with greater respect. Thus, the challenge is to look at the world from a different perspective. This is the perspective that textile artists Pauline White and Julia Sutton weave into their artworks. Pauline and Julia have been collaborating for many, many years. The 2023 Bunbury Biennale theme of culture and nature presented a cohesive survey of West Australian contemporary arts practices. This is a major West Australian contemporary art event with an acquisitive component. It was initiated in 1993 with the aim to acquire new works to expand and diversify the city of Bunbury's art collection. Julia and Pauline were invited to be part of this major exhibition. This is the story of their collaboration on their installation, Veriditus, or more colloquially, Fred's Bed. On one of their many road trips to the West Australian bush, they found an old canvas stretcher by the side of the road. This was to become the catalyst for Veriditus, that literally means greenness. It is a word that means vitality, fertility and growth. It is particularly associated with Abbess Hildegard von Bingen, who used it to symbolise spiritual and physical health and an aspect of divine nature. Pauline and Julia are inspired by the paintings of Fred Williams and offer an alternative perspective to the traditional landscape genre. They are both driven by their affinity and deep connection with the West Australian bush. Julia and Pauline note that in our culture of duality, there is a sensory hierarchy where sight is privileged. In this work, Julia and Pauline have freed the canvas from the frame, physically and metaphorically. This freedom allows them the flexibility to explore and elevate the other senses, particularly touch, sound and smell, to form a deeper relationship with nature rather than a mere observation of it. Embedding the canvas with eucalyptus leaves and old scrap metal become the substrate for their mark making process. Their threads were chosen from the list of historical sutures, which included gold, cotton, flax and silk. Some were dyed with eucalyptus or tea. Julia and Pauline worked in the open air for three months. This allowed them to absorb the sights, sounds and feelings of nature. By using the process of slow suture stitching, plus mark making with stitches of mending and repair, Julia and Pauline could enter the space where nature dwells. Where their senses heightened and more finely tuned, they could connect and communicate on levels beyond the visual. They gained an intimacy of exchange with the natural world and the experience of being part of the one organism. Pauline says that everything in her life is source material and creativity is the spark that ignites it. Foraging in nature feeds her soul and along with found objects provides the fodder to probe the uneasy relationship between nature and culture. For Julia, the bush allows her to investigate organic forms and patterns. The movement and interplay of light and shadow feeds her art themes. Found fibres and textiles brings history to her artworks, but also refers to comfort and love within a family, community and place. The slow, rhythmic pace of her art is her muse. Pauline and Julia create natural dyes from the leaves, bark, twigs and old metal that they have collected. These are prepared by boiling as well as using heliographic methods. These natural dyes are then infused into the fabric and textiles to create a blend of subtle colours, textures and shapes. Their work is air dried and additional materials are then added 
to provide a three-dimensional aspect to the installation. The finished work is very much alive and dynamic, and yet calming and contemplative.